diva that you are. I'm not a diva. <laughs> I am a princess. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a crown. <laughs> well, there's been many times where you wanted to crown me. <laughs> Hello, Crock Posse, and welcome to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog that has well over 500 recipes and risen. And today is going to be a very, very, very fast recipe. It's fall, autumn for some, fall for others, whatever you want to call it, the leaves are changing. The weather's getting a little cooler, and apples are falling off the trees. And this past weekend, Chris and I went um, to our local orchard, the Anderson Orchard, and uh, she and I and Miss Ad went and did some apple picking. And, you know, you get a whole bushel bag full of, or half bushel bag full of apples, you're thinking, what, what am I going to do with all of these apples? And then you think, well, there's apple pie, and apple butter, and apple cider, and apple juice, and apple fritters, and... I'm thinking, how about you just eat them apples, which is pretty much what I did all weekend. <laughs> and as you can see, this is all that's left. Oh. Actually, I made this recipe for a quickie video, and there was a whole apple, but, you know, I had to taste test it. So what you need are the following ingredients. You need caramel. You can either do an 11-ounce bag of the little wrapped-up caramel candies, but then you're going to take all the time unwrapping it. I think we talked about this uh, in the rum chata video. But uh, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take an 11 ounce bag of caramel bits. These are really good and they're still very much a temptation to eat by themselves. <laughs> you also need one 8 ounce uh, brick. I guess you call it a brick. Is it a brick? Yes. A brick of cream cheese and then one quarter cup of powdered sugar and then naturally apples. If you didn't want to use apples, I'm sure you could just stick your finger and eat it like that, but then you'd be chewing on your finger and you'd look ridiculous. So what you do is this. You're going to take your caramel apple bits and you're going to put them in a crock pot just like that. And all caramel apple bits are, are little one. bits of caramel. I couldn't testify. That's pure caramel. Yep. They just melt easier. You know, this is uncouth. Now, Michael. But it's in my house. Oh, it's all good. And then... Pardon me while I chew my caramel. You're gonna hey, take. Pardon me. I said, pardon me while I chew my caramel. <laughs> to understand me when I'm chewing my caramel. Is that English? Mm. And then you want to figure out how to open up a brick of cream cheese. <laughs> you want to figure it out, huh? Well, that's where I'm at right now. Here we go. I think I. Yep. Me. Here we go. And you want to cube it up. I don't think you just want to toss this in there like that because it'll melt faster if you cue it up. So I'll just take one line down the middle. Uh, maybe on the thing so people don't cut their hands. Yeah, do it on a cutting board. Don't do like I do. I mean, I'm, my hand's protected by the the the, yes. the foil, Michael. but it's not necessarily That's the most proper way to do it. You know what? My wife's back there saying, insurance ain't going to cover this. <laughs> Place it on a cutting board. And cube it up, just little big cubes like that. Make sure your thumb's not under your knife. And put it in your slow cooker like that. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Hard to do with a knife. This is not the right tool. Try to use the right tool. Oh. My <laughs> wife married one. I knew you were going there. My, my, oh! What happened? I kicked the camera. Speaking of tools, <laughs> everybody was thinking, there's an earthquake in Indiana. <laughs> now, what you want to do. I'm not sure that's what everyone was doing. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but this is what you want to do now. And I'm not going to show you all of this because, well, we're going to use a little common sense here and you're going to listen. <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> Turn this crock pot on high and set it for about 15 minutes to a half an hour. It's going to depend completely on your slow cooker. Some cook hotter than others. Some don't cook as hot as others on high. And you want those caramel bits to start melting down. It'll also start heating up. 
your cream cheese and you want to stir it like this just like this don't stir Do it like this. they have to move their head like that? Yes you have to stir <laughs> it just like this okay and then you're gonna put your lid back on you're gonna let it melt a little bit more what you're doing is you're getting everything melted all together until it's a little creamy now that cream cheese some of it's not gonna melt all the way away you're gonna have little clumps of cream cheese trust me it's fine the way it is but once it is finally melted down it's going to take anywhere between a half hour and an hour to do and it's all melted down then you're going to take your quarter cup of your powdered sugar pour in there and then mix it up again this time you got to use your other hand and go the other way and you got to do it just like it, this it'll probably be easier to mix up if you sprinkle it and spread it out and yeah don't just dump it in sprinkle it like this you can use the other hand if you want to go like this. I almost see a line dance. And then you're going to go like this. You know what? I should. This should be my dance moves. Like this. A little bit like that. And then stir it. You're going to stir it. And then you're going to stir it. Oh, my God. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. No. Maybe I won't come out with my new dance no. routine yet. And then once you've got a hole stirred up and you're done dancing, <laughs> It's okay to look ridiculous in the kitchen. Yes. I do it all the time. <laughs> you need to. In fact, I don't just save it for the kitchen. <laughs> you need so, to unplug. Oh, I do need to unplug this one. Give me just a second, or else I was going to make one heck of a mess. <laughs> it's going to look a little something like this. Spoon not included. It's going to be creamy, melted. Look at that. Isn't that doesn't look good. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. You should smell it. And then what you do is you take a dish just like this, or if you're in your own house and you don't want to take a dish like this, take an apple and dip in your cock pot. <laughs> you know why I'm going to do it like this? Say it with me, everybody. Because it's my house. <laughs> That's a big dip right there, but I'm up for the task. <laughs> it's hot. I should have blew on it. <laughs> You should have what? Blue on it. <laughs> mm. Caramel, cream cheese, and powdered sugar. And an apple. Because I didn't want to stick my finger down in there. That's rude. <laughs> Give me a second. That's really good. It's very rich. I told Chris a while ago when I was making this and testing it out. It's milky. Because caramel is milky. Cream cheese is made from milk. So it's milky. But in a good way. It's velvety. Mm. And it's worth a second dip. <laughs> and it's really good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, I forgot to blow it again. <laughs> it's that good. Is it that good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to chew up my food before I talk to you because it's just rude if I don't, right? <laughs> You're so concerned about your manners. There are some people watching this video right now going, oh. It's okay. And you know what I gotta say to those people? <laughs> <laughs> I just get it. So, that's a super simple, easy recipe for a fall. Moms with kids, grandmas with kids, dads, dads with kids, granddads with kids, aunts and uncles nieces and nephews I don't know do this with your kids this is super 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 fun and super simple to do Addie's in school right now I'm, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get to do this with her but tell you what I'm gonna do it with her again we will do this recipe again with her not for film or anything we're just gonna do it because I know she really likes this stuff and she kind of likes cooking with that in the kitchen sometimes <laughs> now I will teach her good manners and tell her to put her caramel in a bowl. and blow on it thanks honey <laughs> So glad we got to sit here and watch you eat apples, dear. Much better. <laughs> mm. So we want to thank you guys again for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes. If you like what you see and you are not officially a member of the Croc Posse yet, then what I suggest you do is go down below where it says subscribe and kick up and kick, don't don't kick don't it. Kick. Don't kick the little button. Put your foot right through your computer. Click the little button that says subscribe, and you will be a member of the Croc Posse. And also check us out over at Facebook, 
at Recipes That Croc. And on Twitter, at Recipes Croc. Know that. And on Instagram, at Recipes That Croc. And you'll see many, 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 many more things that we've got on site. Thank you guys again for watching, because if you keep watching, we will keep cooking, and all will be well. Now I'm going to double dip. <laughs> Bye.